Good morning children. Welcome to your maths class with Poonam Bagga. We are studying chapter 3 playing with numbers. Up till now in this chapter while playing with numbers we have learnt what are factors and multiples of a given number and how to find them. Today we will be learning about some new numbers called prime numbers and composite numbers. But first we will find out the factors of these few given numbers. We have these numbers with us. We will find out their factors and write down the number of factors each number has. We start with this number 1. By a factor we mean that we have to find a number which will divide this given number completely leaving remainder 0. Factor se hamara matlab hai aisa number jo diye huye number ko puri tarah divide kar de aur remainder niche 0 mile. So which number will divide 1 completely? Obviously it will be 1 itself. If we divide 1 by 1 then its 1 1s are 1 and the remainder is 0. So its factor is 1. Can you think of any other number also which will divide 1 completely? you won't get any other such number. So it is the only factor and number of factors of 1 is again 1 single factor. Then we move on to number 2. We have to write down the numbers which divide 2 completely. We know that 1 is a factor of every number. 1 sabhi numbers ka factor hota hai. So 1 is a factor of 2 and also Every number is a factor of itself. So 2 will be a factor of itself. Her number khud apna bhi factor hota hai. So 2 is a factor of 2 itself. Then is there any other number which will divide 2 completely? The other factors will lie between this 1 and 2. And there is no other number between 1 and 2. So there is no other factor of 2. So there are only 2 factors of 2. Then we move on to 3. Clearly 1 will be its factor and 3 will be a factor of itself. Then in between 1 and 3 we have the number 2. Will this 2 divide 3 completely? Will it divide 3? No, because 3 does not come in the table of 2. Kya 2 3 ko puri tarah divide karega? 2 ki table mein 3 nahi aata hai? Toh 2 3 ko puri tarah divide nahi karega. Aur is liye 2 will not be a factor of 3 and so it has only 2 factors 1 and 3. So we write the number of factors as 2. Then we move on to 4. Obviously 1 is a factor of 4. 4 will be a factor of itself and in between we have 2 and 3. Obviously 2 will divide 4 completely because 4 comes in the table of 2 or we say 4 is a multiple of 2. So we have one more factor of 4 which is 2 and so in all we have 3 factors of 4. Then we move on to 5. Again 1 is a factor of 5 and 5 itself will be its factor. Then in between we have the numbers 2, 3 and 4. Will these numbers divide 5 completely? We see that 5 does not come in the table of 2, it does not come in the table of 3 and neither in the table of 4. So all these numbers 2, 3 and 4 will not divide 5 completely and so they are not the factors of 5. So only 2 factors are there for 5, 1 and 5. We move on to 6. 1 is its factor, 6 is its factor. Then in between we have 2, 3, 4 and 5. 6 comes in the table of 2 also and 3 also. So 2 and 3 will again divide 6 completely and they are also the factors of 6. And so we have 4 factors of 6. Clearly 4 and 5 will not divide 6 completely and so there are only 4 factors of 6. Then we move on to 7. 1 is a factor of 7 and 7 will be a factor of itself. In between we have these numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Does 7 come in the table of any of these numbers? Kya 7 in me se kisi ki bhi table mein aata hai? Nahi. So that's why all these numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will not be the factors of 7. And so there are only 2 factors of 7 and we write here 
टू फैक्टर्स ओके देन वी हैव एट ऑब्वियसली वन इज अ फैक्टर ऑफ एट एंड एट विल बी अ फैक्टर ऑफ इट सेल्फ इन बिटवीन वी हैव दीज नंबर्स वी कैन टेक वन मोर एंड यू कैन सी एट कम्स इन द टेबल ऑफ टू एंड इन द टेबल ऑफ फोर सो वी कैन राइट हियर टू एंड फोर एज दी अदर फैक्टर्स ऑफ एट एंड सो इन ऑल देर आर फोर फैक्टर्स ऑफ एट आर यू गेटिंग द पॉइंट हियर देन वी हैव द नंबर नाइन ऑब्वियसली वन इज अ फैक्टर ऑफ नाइन वन इज अ फैक्टर ऑफ एवरी नंबर एंड नाइन विल बी अ फैक्टर ऑफ इट सेल्फ इन बिटवीन वी नो दैट नाइन कम्स इन द टेबल ऑफ थ्री एंड सो थ्री विल बी अ फैक्टर ऑफ नाइन एंड सो देर आर थ्री फैक्टर्स ऑफ नाइन देन वी हैव वन एंड टेन एज द फैक्टर्स ऑफ टेन इन बिटवीन यू कैन सी टेन कम्स इन द टेबल ऑफ टू and in the table of 5 so 2 and 5 will divide 10 completely and so we can write here 2 and 5 so in all there are four factors of 10 then we have this number 11 1 will be a factor of 11 and 11 will be a factor of itself also and is there any number or a table in which 11 comes no no other number will divide 11 completely you may take 8 and 9 and 10 also these numbers will not divide 11 completely and so there are only two factors of 11 and we write here 2 then we have this number 12 clearly 1 will be its factor and 12 will be a factor of itself in between we know that 12 comes in the table of 2 also 3 4 and 6 in these tables 12 comes and so these four numbers will be the factors of 12 and we write them here 2 3 4 and 6 and so in all there are six factors of 12 i hope this table is very much clear to you now we can understand what are prime numbers we see numbers other than 1 having only two factors one and the number itself are called prime numbers prime numbers are the numbers which have only two factors which two factors one and the number itself aise numbers jinke do hi factors ho ek to one aur dusra wo number khud apna so aise numbers such numbers are called prime numbers we move back to this table and now we see the numbers having only two factors let us encircle them in this way you can see this number 2 has only two factors number 3 has again only two factors number 5 has again two factors 7 has two factors only then we have this number 11 which has two factors these numbers are called prime numbers you can see here the two factors they have one is the common factor these all numbers have one as the factor and the second factor are they themselves two is the factor of itself Three is again a factor of itself. Then here five is a factor of itself. Here seven is a factor of itself, and eleven is again a factor of itself. So these are the numbers which have only two factors, one, and they themselves are their own factors. So such numbers are called prime numbers. Now we can write down the examples here. Two, then three. then 5 then we have 7 11 these are the numbers which we saw in the table just now but there are many more other prime numbers which do not come in any table of other number they come only in their own table and they have only two factors one and they themselves you can think of other numbers also just give me some more numbers just think of the numbers Yes we can write 13 as the prime number it again has only two factors 1 and 13 then 
we can have the other number as 17. Again, 17 has only two factors, 1 and 17 itself. And this number does not come in the table of any other number. Ye numbers kisi or table mein, kisi or number ki table mein nahi aate hain. Sirf apni hi table mein aate hain aur inke do hi factors hain, 1 aur khud ye number apne khud ke factors hain. Okay, then we move on to composite numbers. Numbers having more than two factors are called composite numbers. Let us move back to the same table that we discussed just now. Let us now look at the numbers which have more than two factors. You can see this number 4. This is having three factors. This number 4. Then this 6 is having four factors. 8 is having again four factors. 9 is having three factors, 10 has four factors, 12 has six factors. So these numbers which have more than two factors are called composite numbers. This means they have one as their factor, they themselves are their own factor and besides these two factors there are some other numbers also which are their factors. So I hope it is clear to you. We can write down the numbers now here. Example is you can take 4, then we have 6, 8, 9, 10, 12 and there are many, many, many more such numbers. You can think of it is 14 again. 14 comes in the table of 2 also and 7 also. So 2 and 7 are the factors other than 1 and 14. So it is a composite number having more than two factors. Then we can take the next number as 15 also. Again 15 has one as one of its factors and then it has 15 as its factor the same number itself and then it comes in the table of 3 also and 5 also. So 3 and 5 are the other factors of 15 and so it has more than two factors and so it is a composite number and similarly you can write many 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 more such numbers. Now remember 1 is neither a prime nor a composite number. Just let us have a look at the factors of 1. 1 has only one single factor so it is a special number. It is not included in the prime numbers also and not in the composite numbers also. So we say that 1 is neither a prime number nor a composite number. Okay? Then we just look on to even and odd numbers. I know that you all know what are even and odd numbers. You must have learnt in your previous class but still let us again revise it. Even numbers, numbers with 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 at the ones place are called even numbers. Obviously you know such numbers, you can take any number, small, large, any number, suppose it's 16, it's ending with 6, so it's an even number. Then again you can take a big number, 534, suppose, again it's ending with 4, you can see this 4, so it's an even number. Also even numbers are multiples of 2. Let us write down the multiples of 2. Multiples of 2 means the table of 2 itself. If we start writing it will be 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6, then 8, then 10, then 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So these are the multiples of and if we break here, you will see it is having 2, 4, 6, 8 or 0 at the 1's place, which is the identification of an even number. So, the even numbers are actually the multiples of 2. Again, we see here 2, 4, 6, 8, 0 at 1's place. And even if you move further, again you will get 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 at 1's place in the multiples of 2. So, we say even numbers are multiples of 2. Then we look at odd numbers. What are odd numbers? 
numbers with 1 3 5 7 or 9 at the ones place are called odd numbers you can take the example 153 it is having 3 at the ones place so it is odd number again you can take 327 again we are having 7 at the ones place so it is an odd number we have these few numbers with us let us check which one is an even number and which one is an odd number we look at this 350350 here we have 0 at the ones place so it will be an even number yes even number then 2359 here we have 9 at the ones place and so it will be an odd number yes odd number clearly this is having 1 at the ones place and so again it will be an odd number it is having 2 at ones place and so it is a multiple of 2 it will be an even number here we have 6 at ones place and so again it will be an even number you can see by the definition and then we have this number 457 with 7 at ones place and so it will be an odd number okay you can easily distinguish between even and odd numbers then we have interesting facts related to even and odd numbers what are these 2 is the smallest prime number which is even let us write down the prime numbers that we have learned just now we started from 2 then 3 then 5 7 then we had 11 13 17 19 and so on so what do you see here that out of all these prime numbers 2 is the smallest prime number clearly 2 is the smallest prime number because smaller to 2 we have the number 1 and it is not taken as a prime number and nor is it taken as a composite number so the smallest prime number is 2 and it is even you can see it is even and it is the smallest of all these prime numbers then what is given every prime number except 2 is odd you can see in this list of prime numbers only this number 2 is even only this 2 is even the remaining are all odd numbers all prime numbers except this 2 all these remaining prime numbers are odd and even if you write down the numbers further again these all numbers will be odd only the single prime number which is even is 2 remember this thing okay all even numbers except 2 are composite numbers now what does this mean this means that all even numbers other than 2 they are composite numbers that means they have more than two factors let us take an even number if i take a number say 16 now it will have at least two factors one and the number itself and since now it is an even number it will be completely divided by 2 and so it will have at least 2 also as one of its factors there will be other factors also there may be and there may not be but it is sure that 2 will be its factor and so now it will have more than two factors and so we say it is a composite number here we are not talking about the other factors we are just talking about the count of factors and it will be more than two so it will be a composite number and so we say all even numbers except two are composite numbers okay now we have numbers from 1 to 100 and now we will be finding out which of these numbers are prime and which of these are not for this we will be using a method sieve method of eratosthenes which was given by a greek mathematician eratosthenes in it we will be applying a filter and we will be separating prime numbers from the other remaining numbers 
जस्ट लाइक वेन वी सेपरेट टू थिंग्स बाय द हेल्प ऑफ अ सीव जब हम दो चीज़ अलग करते हैं छानने की मदद से इसी तरह से हम इसमें से प्राइम नंबर्स छान के अलग कर लेंगे और जो नंबर्स प्राइम नहीं है वो अलग हो जाएंगे हाउ वी विल डू दिस वी स्टार्ट विद द नंबर वन वी नो दैट दिस इज नॉट अ प्राइम नंबर सो वी क्रॉस इट देन वी नो टू हैज ओनली टू फैक्टर्स एंड सो इट विल बी अ प्राइम नंबर नाउ ऑल द मल्टीपल्स ऑफ टू विल अगेन बी कंपोजिट नंबर्स बिकॉज देन दे विल हैव टू फैक्टर्स वन एंड दे देम सेल्स एंड अदर देन दो टू दे विल ऑल्सो हैव टू एज वन ऑफ देयर फैक्टर्स यहाँ हम टू के सभी मल्टीपल्स को क्रॉस कर देंगे क्योंकि टू के मल्टीपल्स जो होंगे उनका एक फैक्टर टू भी तो हो जाएगा और इसलिए वो कंपोजिट नंबर्स कहलाएंगे ना कि प्राइम नंबर्स सो वी विल कैंसिल आउट द मल्टीपल्स ऑफ टू एंड वी नो दैट ऑल द इवन नंबर्स आर मल्टीपल्स ऑफ टू एंड सो वी कैन ईजिली कैंसिल ऑल द इवन नंबर्स यू कैन सी ऑल दीज इवन नंबर्स आई एम जस्ट कैंसलिंग दैम because they are the multiples of 2 and so they all will have 2 as an extra factor other than 1 and they themselves so they will be composite numbers having factors more than 2 how many factors we are not bothered about that here we are just seeing that they have more than 2 factors and so these even numbers will be composite numbers so we have cancelled all these even numbers because they are not prime now we move on to the next number which is 3 yes it is a prime number and now the multiples of 3 again will be composite numbers they will not be prime so we can easily cancel them we know that 3 2 is a 6 it's already cancelled 3 3 is a 9 it will have 3 as its factor and so its factors will be more than 2 and so it will be a composite number then we have 3 4 12 which is already cancelled 3 5 15 3 6 18 3 6 18 3 it's cancelled 3 7 is 21 then we have 24 take up 3 3 jumps 3 9 is 27 will be cancelled 30 is already cancelled 3 11 is 33 then take up 3 jumps it's cancelled then 3 into 13 is 39 which will be cancelled after 39 take 3 jumps 1 2 3 it's cancelled 1 2 3 yes 3 into 15 is 45 and we have cancelled it then 1 2 3 this will again be cancelled it's already cancelled after this 3 jumps 1 2 3 yes it is 3 into 17 You should know the tables up till at least twenty-five. Then it will be easy for you. Then we have fifty-one, one, two, three. Fifty-four is already cancelled. Again, take three jumps. It's nineteen. Three is a fifty-seven, which is cancelled now. One, two, three. Sixty is already cancelled. Then we have sixty-three. It is again a multiple of three. We will cancel it. Then one, two, three. Sixty-six is already cancelled. Again, one, two, three. Sixty-nine. It's a multiple of three. Three into twenty-three is sixty-nine. So it will be cancelled. Again, take three jumps. One, two, three. Seventy-two. It's already cancelled. One, two, three. It will be cancelled. Then. One two three seventy eight is already cancelled. Again one two three eighty one will be cancelled. These all are multiples of three, and so they will have three also as an as a factor of them, and so the number of factors will be more than two. So these are composite numbers, and so we are cancelling them. Again three jumps. One two three cut out eighty four. It's already cut. Then. One two three eighty seven. It's again a multiple of three. One two three ninety has already been cancelled. One two three. This will be cancelled. One two three. It's already cancelled. And one two three. So in this way, we have cancelled all the multiples of two, which were all the even numbers, and then we have cancelled all the multiples of three. Then what is left? The next prime number is five. 
and now we can easily cancel all the multiples of 5 because then they will have 5 also as their factor other than 1 and they themselves and then they will be having more than 2 factors and then they will be composite. So, we will cancel them. Now, the multiples of 5 have only 5 and 0 at the 1's place. You can see if we write down it is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So, all the multiples have either 5 at 1's place or they have 0 at 1's place. We have already cancelled the numbers with 0 at 1's place. You can see they are also even numbers. Now, we are having these numbers with 5 at 1's place and they are multiples of 5. We can cancel all these numbers. So, in this way, we have cancelled the multiples of 5. Then the next prime number is 7. Now, we will look for the multiples of 7 and cross them. We know 7 1s are 7, 7 2s are 14 is already cancelled, 7 3s are 21 it is cancelled, 7 4s are 28 it is cancelled, 7 5s are 35 it is already cancelled, 7 6s are 42 it has been crossed, 7 7s are 49 here it is, it is not crossed and we will cross it now. Then 7 8s are 56 is already crossed. 7 9s are 63 it is crossed, 7 10s are 70 it is already crossed, then 7 11s are 77, is it there? Yes, it is here and now we will cross it. After this 7 into 12 it is 84, it is already cancelled, then 7 into 13 it is 91 and here it is, we will cancel it. After this 7 into 14 it is 98 and it has already been cancelled. So, now we have cancelled the multiples of 7. We move on to the next prime number which is 11 and now we will cancel the multiples of 11. We know the multiples of 11 are 11 then 22, 33, 44, 55 both the digits are same and you will see in this diagonal all these numbers have already been cancelled 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88 and 99. These have been cancelled. Then the next number is 13. We have to cancel the multiples of 13 and while cancelling you will find that we have already cancelled the multiples of 13 and now whatever numbers have been left they are the prime numbers. Now, no multiple is left and we have the numbers, prime numbers 13, then 17, 19, then we have this number 23, 29. You see how we have separated the prime numbers out of so many numbers. This is the sieve method. We have the prime numbers in sare 100 numbers and now we are circling them. 29, then we have this number 31. 37, then we have 41, 43, 47, then in this 53, 59, then 61, 67, here we have 71, 73 and 79. In the 80s we have two numbers 83 and 89 and in 90s we have this one single number 97. In this way we have these prime numbers up to 100. Let us write them separately here. We start from 2, it is the single prime number which is even. Other than these all other prime numbers are odd, remember this. Then we have the next prime number 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, then we have 19, then we move on to the 20s. You can see here, in 20s we have two numbers 23 and 29. So, we can write it here 23 and 29. Then in 30s we have 31, let us have a look and then 31 and then 37. So, we can write here 31 and 37. 
Then in 40s we have three numbers 41, 43 and 47. In 50s we have two numbers 53 and 59. In 60s again we have two numbers 61 and 67. In 70s we have 71, 73 and 79. And then in 80s again we have two numbers 83, 89 and in 90s we have one number 97. Just have a look at these numbers 83, 89, 97, here 71, 73, 79. So you can correlate it with this list of prime numbers up to 100 from 1 to 100. They are 25 in number if you count them. Now we have one example, we will do it. Write all the prime numbers less than 15. It's very easy now. You can write prime numbers less than 15. You will start with 2, then 3, then what will be the next one? Yes, come up with the answer. It's 5. Then we have 7, then it's 11, 13 and then the next one is 17. But then it will be more than 15. So we need to write only till 15, less than 15 and so we have these numbers, prime numbers which are less than 15, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and 13. With this we complete the topic of prime numbers and composite numbers. I hope it is very much clear to you. Always remember these numbers because they will be helpful to you in your future classes also. Thank you.